Welcome, foolish mortals, to another episode of the Hitchhiking Host Show. I am your host, your ghost host, <laughs> Wes Truth, and I am back this week with another episode where we're going to take a look at what happened down in the Disney parks this week. Well, a lot actually went down in Epcot going into the summer, and uh, we're going to check out what happened there, as well as some of the other Walt Disney World parks and some of the rest of the resort. Let's see what happened this week in the trending topics. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Awesome Mix Live is now playing daily at American Gardens Theater at the back of Epcot's World Showcase. The show features Star-Lord and Gamora in person as a seven-piece alien band plays many recognizable songs from Awesome Mix Volumes 1 and 2. Here's the official synopsis of the show. After saving their world from certain destruction, Peter Quill, a.k.a. Star-Lord, brokered a deal with Nova Prime and the Xandarian government to bring an outreach program to his home planet. The purpose? To share Xandar's rich heritage and culture with Earth's people. As luck would have it, Peter informed Xandar's leaders that there's already a place on Earth with a similar, similar mission, a theme park called Epcot, where all of Earth's cultures are celebrated. So as part of their first outreach, Xandar has sent some of their most talented performers to showcase their music, uh, and guests will have plenty of chances to catch the new show. Uh, Showtimes are daily at 1.30 p.m., 2.30 p.m., 5.30 p.m., 6.45 p.m., and 8 o'clock p.m. The show will be playing a limited engagement through the end of summer, officially coming to a close on August 19th, just in time for the food and wine festival festivities to begin soon after that. And now, effective this week, annual pass holders who want to see the show can visit the American Adventure to pick up a wristband for one of the five daily shows to guarantee seating. That is, of course, if you're only an annual pass holder. And wristband distribu uh, d distribution begins at 11 o'clock a.m. And of course, it's first come first serve. Now, I haven't seen the show in person. I've seen it on uh, YouTube. Obviously, you can YouTube it. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet and you're interested, I love Guardians of the Galaxy, and the show looks uh, okay. Um, if I was going this summer to Epcot, would I see it? Possibly, if I wasn't doing anything better. I probably would, just to say I saw it. Um... It looks all right. It's, it's nothing spectacular. If you're a huge Guardians fan, your kids are huge Guardians fans, they'll probably like it. Um, like I said, I love the, the movies and uh, stuff, but I wasn't that impressed with the show, <laughs> really. But if I had some time to kill, then yeah, I'd, sure, I'd see it. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy, of course, Awesome Mix Live is playing now at the American Gardens Theater in Epcot. And also, speaking of Epcot, beginning this week, Epcot will be making a change to the Fast Pass Plus tiers, moving the Mickey and Friends character spot meet and greet attraction into Tier 1, alongside Frozen Ever After, Test Track, Illuminations, and Soarin' Around the World. This change is expected to stay throughout the summer. So if you are really intense, <laughs> if you're a really intense character hunter and you want to meet those Mickey and friends, um, I know the lines can get pretty long for the meet and greets at Epcot. But, uh, you know, if, you, if your kids are dead set on meeting Mickey and friends, then that might be the best thing to do um, for if you want to fast pass for it. Um, would I ever do that? No, <laughs> not when you can book Frozen Ever After, Test Track, Soarin', or even Illuminations. Um, I've never even been in the Epcot character spot, but, um, you know, I would definitely, my, I got a trip coming up sooner or later, uh, in the next few months. I'm, I'm booking Frozen for my uh, Tier 1 Fast Pass, but, of course, it's all up to you guys, and just know that if you're looking for the character spots, 
it's now a tier one attraction. And also at Epcot, the Canada Pavilion has welcomed the new entertainment act, the Blueberry Grass Brand Band, into its pavilion mill stage for a limited engagement that will run from June 13th through August 26th. The Blueberry Grass Band is an accomplished group from Quebec who transform French and English Canadian hits into their own festive sound. Every member of the six-person band has a different musical background, resulting in a group that uses a variety of instruments. String, bass, guitar, violins, drum, banjo, and of course, voice. Show times for this new entertainment offering will be 2.15 p.m. obviously <laughs> 3 30 p.m. 5 p.m. 6 15 p.m. 7 30 p.m. and the performances will only be wednesday through sunday so if you're interested in checking out some new entertainment over in world showcase check out the blueberry grass band over at the canada pavilion and believe it or not, the 4th of July is just a couple of weeks away. Walt Disney World has set the schedule for this year's 4th of July celebrations. At the Magic Kingdom, guests on both July 3rd and 4th will be able to check out a special patriotic Concert in the Sky fireworks show at 9.15 p.m. And this is one of the most popular fireworks shows in the entire Central Florida area. And the park often reaches capacity in the early evening, so plan to get to the park early. Don't think you're going to pull up right at uh, 9 o'clock and go, oh, we'll get a spot. Yeah, you're going to be out. You're going to be SOL, buddy. All right. <laughs> and at, over at Epcot, on July 4th, the Voices of Liberty a cappella group will perform traditional American songs on the American Gardens Theater stage at 5.30, 6.45, and 8 o'clock p.m. In addition, Disney characters dressed in Independence Day attire, oh, they're going to dress like Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum, <laughs> will meet guests during the day at the American Adventure. To cap off the night, Illumination's Reflections of Earth will feature a special July 4th finale. I think either way you go, it's going to be a great uh, 4th of July celebration at either one of those parks. They both sound great. Uh, I do love me some Illuminations, and I would like to see the... Uh, 4th of July finale, uh, but the, you know, the Magic Kingdom concert in the sky sounds great too. So either way, have fun if you are going to be having your 4th of July at a Disney park. And even more news for annual pass holders, man, you guys are raking it in this week. Gold, Platinum, Platinum Plus, and Premier pass holders can take advantage of a new Bring a Friend offer nudge nudge wink wink that allows them to purchase single day park hopper tickets for friends or family for just 79 dollars plus tax from now through june 29th so for the next uh, you know a couple weeks this is one of the lowest cost deals for tickets that we've seen in a long time and though there are some restrictions uh like tickets that must be used in the same day if you're an annual pass holder with a friend or family member that wants to have a disney day this month the new program is definitely one you'll want to take advantage of while you can never mind about that nudge nudge wink wink i will not be there till <laughs> from now till june 29th unless i take a special flight down Anyway, <laughs> so if you're uh, if you got company coming in the next few days, the next week or so, and they want to go to Disney, there you go. That's the way to do it. And uh, an interesting update on a, a, a Disney Parks app that's coming up. Earlier this year, Disney announced the new Play Disney Parks app, which will turn wait time into play time with family and friends at certain locations. This week, Disney released some in additional information about the upcoming app, revealing that it would feature activities that inter interact with select attraction cues, as well as games that bring favorite Disney stories to life in immersive new ways. It was also confirmed this week that guests who download the app can earn and share digital collectibles when they receive themed achievements, earned for experiences both in the app and across the Disney parks. And with the Disney trivia feature, family and friends can band together to see if they have what it takes to become Disney trivia masters <laughs> as they discover fun facts about their favorite theme parks. Play Disney Parks is expected to release later this month and is now available for pre-order on the App Store as well as on Google Play. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you want something to do while you're waiting in line, that might be the perfect thing. I'm gonna see what it looks like, at least. Um, I'm just always worried about losing my battery. <laughs> Uh, this is definitely a way to lose your battery if you're... I try not to be on my phone during those times to use it. Uh, but of course, you know, there are power banks out there and there are some charging stations depending on the parks. Uh, so maybe I can check it out. Uh, I'll see if it's a lot of cool stuff. Maybe I'll check it out when I'm in line during the attractions. If not, then <sighs> save my battery. <laughs> but anyway, just know if you're interested in that... The Disney Parks uh, app, the Play Disney Parks app, will be available later this month. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back next week with another episode. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Show. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Show. Follow on the Twitter at Show. And if you want to listen to the show or you are listening to the show, do so over on Podbean, hitchhostshow.podbean.com, or listen on Stitcher or iTunes under West Truth or the Hitchhiking Host Show. Until next time, don't forget to... Hurry back. Hurry back. For the next episode, see ya.